supporters of Amber Heard criticize Cannes for celebrating abusers before Johnny Depp's opening night. With the hashtag hashtag Cannes you not, a new social media campaign is criticizing the Cannes Film Festival for celebrating abusers for 76 years. Days before the festival, supporters of Amber Heard started the web campaign. Jean Dubarry, a new movie starring her ex-husband Johnny Depp, will premiere at the prestigious festival on Tuesday night as Cannes in the south of France gets underway. The hashtag was published throughout her social media networks by Amber Heard's close friend and journalist Eve Barlow. Barlow wrote on social media, can seem proud of their history of supporting rapists and abusers, using the French proverb plus ca change, which roughly translates to the more things change, the more they stay the same. Along with her statement, Barlow included a number of images of the accused men, including Depp, Roman Polanski, Harvey Weinstein, Woody Allen, Gerard Depardieu, and Luke Besson, who have all been important figures at Cannes over the years. If you support Cannes, you support predators, reads Barlow's post. The hashtag cans you not hashtag is being promoted on social media by pro herd accounts. One of the people who helped plan the effort is a supporter named Rebecca who manages the at leave herd alone Twitter account. The majority of those involved in organizing the campaign, including Rebecca who has begged Variety to only publish her first name in order to preserve her privacy and prevent internet harassment, are survivors of sexual abuse. They describe the Depp v. Her trial as heartbreaking and frightening. The Depp v. Her trial served as the platform for the hashtag MeToo movement's detractors to get widespread attention. According to Rebecca, the Hollywood industries appear to be capitalizing on this opposition to restore the status quo. Johnny Depp to open your festival. It feels like a slap in the face, to be honest. Protests on the Croisette and its surrounds during the Cannes Film Festival are prohibited by the city of Cannes. However, the hashtag Cannes You Not campaign's leaders assert that they cannot be stopped from participating in online protests. Rebecca claims that although the ad was created with Depp in mind, the main focus is on the larger issue of men accused of abuse being protected and insulated by the film industry. The Cannes Film Festival declared that they took complaints of abuse seriously after the Harvey Weinstein watershed moment, Rebecca continues. We consider it hypocritical that the Cannes Film Festival has an anti-discrimination and anti-abuse policy while kicking off the festival with a Johnny Depp starring movie. At the festival's opening press conference on Monday, Cannes director Thierry Fremox responded to claims that the festival encourages abusers. If you thought that it's a festival for rapists, you wouldn't be here listening to me, Fremox remarked in front of a room full of journalists. You would not be complaining that you can't get tickets to get into screenings. The continuous court disputes between Depp and Hurt have primarily shaped his public character over the past few years. He lost a libel action in the United Kingdom in 2020 involving her abuse charges, but he won another one in the United States in 2022 that gripped the world as the trial was televised and intensely scrutinized via TikTok. The premiere of Jean Dubarry in Kansas is regarded as a significant return for Depp. What a difference a year makes, the trial was still pending during the previous Cannes Film Festival. The jury decided in favor of Depp just a few days after the festival was over. The past year has seen a stunning turnaround for Depp, a former lister who was dropped from blockbuster franchises like Fantastic Beasts and Pirates of the Caribbean. Despite the fact that Depp continues to be a contentious figure whose star power has diminished due to his legal disputes and troubling allegations against him, Depp has made a remarkable comeback. Al Pacino will star in a movie that Johnny Depp is directing, marking the actor's return to directing after more than 25 years, and that movie will also be shown to buyers in Cannes. This news was recently announced in addition to Depp's major opening at Cannes. According to Variety, Depp also recently signed the largest ever men's fragrance agreement with Dior at $20 million. French director Maywen, who recently admitted to spitting on a journalist, is the creator of Jean Dubarry. Early this year, the journalist reported her to the police. Additionally, Fremont has defended starting the festival with Depp's movie. In the US, I don't know about Johnny Depp's reputation, he said at the inaugural press conference. To be honest, I live by only one rule, exercising one's right to free thought, expression, and action within the bounds of the law. We wouldn't be here discussing it if Johnny Depp had been prohibited from acting in the movie or if the movie had been outlawed. Fremox continued by saying that he had not followed the Depp v. Her trial. I'm the last person who can talk about all of this, he said. If anyone in the world didn't have the slightest interest in this highly publicized trial, it was me. I have no idea what it's about. As an actor, Johnny Depp is someone I care about.